When installing an SQ Flex solar or combi system, first use a compass to find the right direction for the solar modules. In the northern hemisphere, they must face south. In the southern hemisphere, they must face north. Turn the solar modules so the cables are all pointing the same side per row. For both end of a row, use the row closure to finish the section. Installing the pump itself follows the normal procedure for a submersible pump installation. The riser pipe can be a galvanized steel pipe as here, or can be flexible types. Be sure to use watertight cable joints. Close the casing properly to prevent the well from pollution. Connect the pump cable to the breaker box. Connect all the cables from the solar modules, red to red and grey to grey. Put the cables into the cable guard between the solar modules. The last unused module cables are closed with the two blind plugs. Close the cable guard with the included ground clips. The wind turbine's base plate is the center for the tower pole. Measure the distance from the base plate to the four anchor positions and screw the anchors into the ground. The tower pole is mounted onto the base plate. The gin pole is then mounted above the tower pole. Make sure that the poles are aligned with one of the anchors. Put the power cable through the pole. Uh, can you? Yeah. <laughs> the wire coupling must have the right distance to the top of the pole. Then the wires must be adjusted to the right length between the wire coupling and the anchors. Okay, until this is tied to that. Measure the length of the wire to the anchor under the pole. Use tape to mark the correct length of the wire. Pull this down once again. Tighten it up. The top part of the gin pole is mounted. And the last two wires are connected to it. Remember to lock the wire lock. 
back to the car. The tying wire is connected to the car or truck and used to raise the tower. Lift the gin pole by hand to a position around 45 degrees and from here let the car or truck take over. First raise the pole without the turbine head to check the length of all wires and maybe adjust them. And then pull it through. Then lay the pole down again slowly. Like this. Connect the three wires from the turbine head to the wires of the power cable. Make sure that none of the wires are jammed when the turbine head is mounted. Mount the tail and align it. Is that tail straight? <laughs> yeah. Mount the blades on the extension parts and mount them on the turbine. Remove the three outer bolts again and mount the nose cone. Remount the three bolts and tighten them properly. The tower with the turbine head are now ready to be raised. Stop when the tower is in a vertical position. Remove the tying wires and dismantle the gin pole. One by one, connect the three wires from the power cable to the breaker box. Release the wind turbine with the disconnect switch and switch on the power supply from the solar panels. If you use a power generator as a backup source, you must add the switch box IO101. The box must be switched off while the generator is started up. The generator is easily connected to the system using the included cable. Plug in the cable to the IO101. Start the generator. Plug in the cable to the generator and switch on the pump. When using a level control switch, you must add the CU200 control box. The level switch is easily connected to the CU200 terminals without any special tools. Close the box. And start the system by pressing the on-off button. When the supplied energy is sufficient, the pump will start working, which you can see on the running LEDs. High level in the water reservoir will automatically tell the pump when to stop.